Jay Jolly, good morning to you from a bright, sunny and dare I say it quite warm Birchington on Sea here in October in Kent in England and uh, today I'm going to take a nice walk and uh, hopefully this weather will uh, remain for the rest of the day. Uh, it's not a particularly long walk today, should take um, an hour and a half to two hours, that's all. But I'm going to be walking to the nearby seaside resort of Margate. Uh, if time permits, I shall have a little look around Margate as well, see what's changed since I was last there. Um, as I was last there only uh, perhaps uh, a few weeks ago, um, probably nothing much has changed at all. But from a quiet Birchington-on-Sea railway station, um, let's head off and uh, get down to the coast, have a nice walk along this on the water's front down to the beach at Margate. Let's go. Okay, so the um, Go Jauntly app that I'm going to be using today is uh, sending me sending me off to the right here into the centre of Birchington and um, through the town. There's no real reason for me to go that way unless I wanted to pop into some of the uh, nice little shops there. I'm going to head back down in this direction, which if you saw my uh, was it my video Whitstable to Birchington on Sea? Or no, Herne Bay to Herne Bay to Birchington on Sea. I came up this way, that was a few weeks ago. Um, so I'm going to continue back down on the coast at the place I left off from rather than go into the town here. Uh, I should be getting my uh, shopping and refreshments at once in Margate. So, first of all, if you like this video, Please click on the like button. If you don't, click on the thumbs down button twice. Uh, but if you do, as I say, click on the like, subscribe if you want to have a look at the channel. It doesn't cost you a bean. And um, have a look at some of the other videos. I've got loads of walks and places around the UK, in Europe, and some further afield also. So if you want to check them out, please do. Anyway, let's head off. Uh, it's just through residential streets for the moment till we get down to the seafront, which is uh, not too far down here. Although the uh, sun's out, uh, still a bit of coolness in the breeze there. Um, you can still feel a bit of warmth from the sun, but it is starting to diminish now as we head quickly towards winter. Another couple of months, of course, until we are actually in winter. It's uh, certainly, certainly a beautiful, pleasant day for having a nice walk, that's for sure. Should be able to take a little left turn in a moment, uh, through, down the footpath, down to the seafront, I think. If memory serves me correctly. I thought that was for me then for a minute, but no, the uh, footpath's still open. Had a similar one in Ely yesterday where the, uh, the app wasn't uh, up to date with path closures. But I managed to just sort of cheat my way through the area without having to double back too far. But it's always a bit annoying when you follow an app's instructions and then you get there and find the paths closed or impassable in some way. But uh, it's pretty rare actually. Um, they uh, don't close paths down lightly. Uh, the smell of the sea now, and I can see it over the fences there. It'll be quite windy though today, so I apologise for the noise. It blows onto the microphone. One or two of the routes down to the front uh, are sealed off for residents only kind of routes across private uh, gr um, lawns and stuff. So I just had to take a slight deviation. Anyone that's from around here will know what mistake I just made. Um, <clears throat> there we go. I'm not sure where the Thames Estuary turns into the English Channel, but it must be somewhere very close to here seems to me that once you actually reach the English Channel, the colour of the sea looks a lot more appealing. It's not that the Thames is dirty as such, it's just very silty. It washes a lot of silt out into the sea and uh, it shows up in the colour of the water. Lots of ships over there, out at sea, probably heading towards uh, the other side of the estuary, towards Harwich or um, Felixstowe. And here we are, down on the uh, King Charles England Coast Path. Rather snappily named, don't you think? 
tide's quite low today, so you can see all the rocks there. And uh, sort of sheltered or shielded from the sun at the moment, unfortunately. That should improve as I move around the coast a bit. Wow, it is blowy down here today. Didn't expect that. Um, so I apologise for all the wind noise. This is Eppel Bay and Eppel Bay Beach. I'm just going to skirt around it and uh, have to go up over the cliff slightly because you can't really walk down at sea level there. I have to walk above the cliffs. Yeah, this is Apple Bay Beach and uh, there is some sand up there. This is kind of, uh, looks awful, looks horrible, They're not very appealing at all. It's just seaweed though, uh, it's just washed up into the bay, just kind of gets caught in the little inlets. Uh, quite a strong smell of uh, seaweed. You see where it's uh, washed up here onto the to the footpath uh, when the tide's in. As I say, the tide's fairly low at the moment. Probably uh, probably one and a half to two metres below high tide, I'd say, looking at the tide marks on the white cliffs over there. Yes, they are the same white cliffs as Dover. Just quite a long way away from Dover here. In, uh, when the tide's in and the, and the waves are uh, quite big, <clears throat> getting across this uh, little piece of footpath is probably quite hazardous. Uh, if you don't want to get wet, probably uh, perfectly safe. I mean, um, hazardous in the terms of getting salt all over you, salty water. That's all right, especially if it's a warm day. Right, so as I say, <clears throat> footpath continues up on the cliffs for a little while. Just on the right here that we're going to skirt around the edge of by this road is the uh, Westgate and Birchington Golf Club. Don't think we're on the road for too long. So we're just uh, entering Westgate on sea. Um, the town is kind of over to the right there, or the centre. Uh, the footpath that I'm going to follow, the coastal path, is uh, going to follow around that, the sort of the headland really. Um, Westgate has got a, a railway station if you ever wish to come here to start a walk back in the direction of um, Birchington or Herne Bay or indeed a shorter walk than I'm doing today, it's round to Margate. It would be a good option if you don't want to walk too far. Um, although this particular walk from Birchington isn't that far anyway. It's about um, three and a half, four miles approximately, uh, which is uh, perfect on a day like this. So obviously uh, pick something that uh, suit your energy levels. The footpath is fairly set back from the cliffs here. Uh, as it keeps saying, undef unfenced cliff. And they are quite unstable cliffs. They're not the sort of cliffs to go uh, walking on the top of. They could give way at any moment, especially if there's been lots of rain or something like that, or very dry. One of the two can uh, disrupt them slightly. And, uh, great uh, parts of them do have and do fall into the sea frequently so if you're going to come along here just stay on this side of the wall you can take some really nice pictures of the bay um, if 
you could uh, walk just over to the edge there, but uh, I'll, I'll leave that for uh, someone with a death wish. I'm, I'm uh, not intending to do that. Seems like someone's actually come out here and cut the grass just here. I don't know if it belongs to one of the houses over the road, or the, the bit of land, the bit of land opposite each house. It wouldn't be wise to go on there regardless. I certainly wouldn't want to be using a lawnmower on there, but it looks like someone's gone and done that. If you look at the grass just next to it. Wow. It does, it does make it look a bit nicer. Then again, these uh, bits of grass that we don't want to be like, um, you know, um, uh, cricket pitch lawns and so on. Um, they, 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 like you know, you're supposed to try and keep the grass a bit longer and let the wild flowers grow to assist insects, butterflies and so on. Here's interesting as well, that's, that's been cut down although it's, it's uh, full up with well, weeds basically but flowers. I'm going to go down to the beach level now. I think I can stay on the lower level now all the way. It's nicer the nearer you get to the sea, really, and away from the road. Quite a nice beach here, actually. Quite a bit of seaweed on there, but it's not like, um, like it is further back there. And uh, quite reasonably clean and nice sand for the kids to play on. With their buckets and spades. Gosh, remember those days. which uh, would be a good place for a pit stop if that would be required. Uh, see a few people sat outside there. Presumably we're having a bit of breakfast or a coffee. Uh, a bit early for me yet still for food anyway, so I shall carry on and uh, partake when I get to down to Margate. This is, uh, I'll tell you, when you get days like today in October, especially as it's a... It's a Thursday today and the, since the weekend it has been absolutely dreadful weather here, pouring with rain. So it just feels so much better when you suddenly get a reasonably nice day. I mean it's not really sitting on the beach and paddling in the sea weather but um, it's certainly uh, with a reasonable amount of wrapping on can have a beautiful walk in the sunshine and not in the rain. I bet there was nobody sat outside here yesterday. Some of these beach huts look like they've seen better days. Um, could do the liquor paint, some of them. Or all of them, actually, but uh, they don't have to get a battery in from the wind and the salty sea air coming in. Uh, I need to be... Oh, that one's been... That one's been done up a bit more recently. And these ones here look a bit uh, a bit better. But yeah, you've got to keep on top of it, otherwise you'll come back and find nothing left, especially after a storm. And that wouldn't be great fun. I'm not sure these are privately owned. They don't seem to have... Usually when they're privately owned, they have um, some sort of identification on them, like, or like some, some people um, name their houses and things like that. But... Uh, they haven't got numbers on either, so I'm not sure if they're just rental ones from the council or uh, people actually own them. Well, that looks like, uh, in fact, I'll say that's a Punch and Judy store. Or well, it looks like one. <laughs> Maybe not. If any of you know what Punch and Judy is, I'm sure any British people will do. I'm not sure if any of the uh, foreign viewers will know what that's all about. 
I think it's just the design of the hut actually. There's another one there. So it's just the way that they uh, lock down the, the drawers, I think. I'm gonna start blowing the gale again when I get around this bit of headland. Good fresh air, cleaning out the lungs. to St Mildred's Bay Beach now, another nice sandy beach, uh, plenty of access down to it from the roads above. So we kind of uh, begin to enter the, the outskirts of Margate really, so this was a particularly long walk. Um, I have another walk uh, which goes from Margate round to Broadstairs but as more a series of photographs, I'm going to do a proper walking walk in the near future. And again, that's not a hugely long walk around there, but it's beautiful right around the, the tip of Kent, really. Uh, I'll try and get that in in the next few weeks before the weather deteriorates too much. Beautiful. in about two hours time so I'll expect the water to be quite up to about here somewhere by then. I'll have long gone of course. Uh, I'll be in the Margate then but the same tide, same sea, same timings more or less. So um, yeah, St Mildred's Bay. Weddings and functions. Interesting place to have a, a wedding or a wedding reception I'm guessing. It's uh, part of the hotel here. Maybe you do have the uh, wedding reception in the bar and bistro, but I would imagine there's a, a facility inside the <clears throat> inside the hotel. And a sign there for Westgate Station, as I say, it's got a station here too. If you prefer just to get down here and then uh, spend your time here or walk one way back to Birchington or Margate. It wouldn't be a massive walk. A pleasant way to spend an afternoon for sure. Got a bit uh, carried away with the halfway point. Uh, that sign kind of suggests we're halfway. Uh, giving it a total walk distance of about four miles. And uh, it's saying there two miles back to Birchington and two miles to Margate, so great. What an ideal place for a pit stop if you are going to do the walk between the two. Still two hours to high tide, it's coming over the top here. Uh, not drastically, keep over to the right, it'll be just fine, but in two hours time when that, the water's another metre or so higher, it might get quite wet along here. But then again, you can take a very wide path. In fact, you can see where people have done that. There's sort of a little path over there, why would you walk along that? Um, unless the water's coming over. Getting a nice little spray of uh, sea salt at the moment. You all want to park your car there. The 
sea salt all over your car, it doesn't do any good whatsoever. It sound right, boy. Westbrook to just my right up there so on the hill. We're kind of just entering Margate now. You now. can see the harbour or whatever it is um, right there in the distance. Probably about 20 minutes walk now. So that's it's been a good one. Weather perfect, of course. Perfect for walking anyway. Place needs a bit of TLC by the looks of it. It sound right, boy. Margate Amateur Boxing Club. Great place to have a boxing club overlooking the beach. Maybe it's not still open. All these uh, shutters here. Uh, <clears throat> perhaps they are in the middle of summer. Yeah, it's a shame that building looks like it needs a bit of. Uh, Bit of TLC on it and uh, back to it. It's good as new. Stern warnings here about climbing up the rocks. What do we have over here? Oh, amazing cars. Shut down for winter. It's starting to look a bit rubbishy, but that was not too bad. We're entering to uh, Margate Problem. Probably now there's the big swathe of sand, the main beach. We we'll walk right the way round over to the uh, Great Water and Harbour over there. going on the roof there. That's a splendid looking building all the same. But it's nice majestic steps leading down to the seafront and the beach. Private gardens. Not for the hoi polloi like you and I. brave ladies. I don't know if they're actually in the water but they've certainly got their swimming costumes on and uh, are walking back along the... oh yeah it's kind of a... that's right, it's a, a sea filled swimming pool. It's kind of been a bit overwhelmed by the water at the moment but uh, it's kind of a sheltered swimming pool area. I'm guessing they were in there swimming. So the lady at the back's got uh, what would appear to be a skin skin coloured <laughs> skin coloured cosy on. Say no more. Well done then. A few ladies down there in this sort of uh, um, fenced off area. Sea scoop sea scrub and sea. Presumably you have to go in the sea first to have a bit of a wash. It's a fun fair here. Rather unsightly set of flats right on the sea front, which always seems a bit unfortunate, but uh, I suppose that was 60s or 70s uh, town planners at their absolute worst, as usual. And uh, a series of some open and some not so open holiday attractions here on the seafront.
Dreamland Cinema Ballroom Restaurant, licensed cafe and bar and amusement park. And uh, free to enter, but closed. Then again, it is October. Uh, I mentioned that uh, Margate is uh, part of the sink ports. Look it up if you don't know what they are. Or sank. Something quite fun about seaside resorts in winter or getting towards winter. I mean, they're not quite completely closed down, but they're certainly not uh, full of holiday makers like they would be in the summertime. Not that sort of just air of uh, let's get things painted up and decorated for the next year or then again, let's not sort of vibe. Always like this um, monument with a clock on it, right in the centre here. Now, as I say, um, I have got another shortish video walking from here around to Broadstairs. Just head off around the coast there. Uh, but it's a pictorial one rather than a walking video. So I'm going to come back fairly soon and do a proper video for that. That's a really nice walk around there. Gotta be a weather spoons, hasn't it, with a name like that? The mechanical elephant. I gotta give weather spoons their due. They take over some old ramshackle buildings and sometimes more important buildings than that. And I suppose the uh, the uh, jury could be out on whether they really should be taking over things like churches. But if it's gonna just be left empty, might as well be of use to somebody. That's not a church, obviously. Looks like it used to be a hotel. Um, give them a slightly interesting name turn it into a pub that we all know some hate some love but they are what they are i guess cliftonville i remember my grandparents used to go there for holidays they used to uh, must have took them hours and out on end to get here from the north of england by train, they were, didn't drive, they worked for the railway, had free rail tickets and so on, so um, <clears throat> would have uh, taken a train all the way to London and then down to here. Oh, the days. Sun's been washing up. Of course, it's autumn at the moment. You do tend to get quite high tides this time of year, which consequently means, means the water washes the sand up onto the promenade. A bit more than it would during summer. Oh. Quarter to 12. So I've never heard that chime. drill going today it's been a while since I had one of those going off when I'm trying to re make a film it's usually lawnmowers strimmers uh, patio cleaners dustbin carts you name it right at the end of the pier now the stone pier go 
to take a little stroll back towards the railway station, back into the town, go through the town area of um, Margate before I conclude this video. There's a little bar here actually, that's not open today. May well even be shut for the winter, although they've still got the, the umbrellas out, so it's still perhaps a bit early for the bar to be open anyway. <coughs> lighthousebar.co.uk check it out now that hasn't got a great smell at all <clears throat> there's quite a bit of litter landed in there too <clears throat> excuse me that's a bit like the seaweed around the corner there earlier on uh, so that's been uh, that needs uh, that is dealing with because that stinks quite a bit. It's not a good smell. Sometimes uh, fresh seaweed on the beach has got kind of a, quite an interesting smell, but not that. And it wasn't the seafood either. That smells all right. Cockles, mussels, oysters. It's your place to go. The seafront uh, here in uh, Margate is quite quaint actually, in a kind of a, I don't know, <laughs> a seaside way. Some interesting little independent shops such as that. We're going to pick up some uh, agent for the Perth Dye Works. I presume that's Perth in Scotland rather than the one in Australia, but who knows. There's a shop that sells incense and what have you there, because I've just got a lovely sort of waiting for this guy to decide where he's going, really. Okay. He doesn't know, he doesn't mind that he's holding everybody up. Looks like none of them know where they want to go. Are they in a convoy? <laughs> right. Margate Museum. Eclectic Art Gallery. And the usual array of... Uh, oh, now that's a nice coffee smell. There's an Italian restaurant just to my left. I would hazard a guess it's coming out of there. The fort quarter. And we just come up to Market Street now. The weather's so nice today and it's uh, a school day in the middle of October. It's absolutely perfect day for wandering around somewhere like this. It's uh, nice and quiet and peaceful. Of course some of the places aren't open that would be open at other times of the day or year or week but um, nevertheless there's still plenty of places. old town area you kind of uh, move into I suppose what you'd call the new town area with more more uh, standard kind of uh, high street shops and so on the usual things here there's a KFC there's a boots just up the way there and uh, one or two other similar sorts of places
pedestrianised area just up there. I'm going to walk up to that before we call it a day here. Well, that's it from a beautiful, sunny, warm October afternoon here in uh, Margate in Kent. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please click the like, subscribe, do the yellow bell, you know the drill, all that kind of stuff. And I'll be back with some more from Kent, from other parts of the UK, uh, Europe and beyond very, very soon. And uh, please check out my other 1,000 videos that are available to watch. And uh, that's it for now. Thank you in very much indeed for watching. Catch you all in the next one. Cheers for now. Bye.